Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you test your ServiceNow service portal with Selenium and Python. So as you can see my screen, we have this service portal. This is in my personal developer instance. This is the default portal of ServiceNow. Now you might have uh, some customized portal in your organization. So it is just a demo to show you how can you test it. Now, in order to do this testing, there are some prerequisite. For example, you have to install Python, you have to install Selenium, and you also need to in, uh, install some Python IDE so that you can write the script and then run it, and then this will test. So this is my personal developer instance, and this is the service portal out of the box of ServiceNow. Now, as you can see, as of now, it says dev, the domain name I have, and then I have this SP. Now, if I press enter, this will load the service portal uh, page. That's a home page of service portal with the login page. That is a landing page I have. What if, if I want to test this portal and how exactly I will test it? So our first test case is I just want to check whether user are able to log in or not. So what I will do, I will just put the ad username and password and just click on login button. This is just our first test case. And this is the only demo I'm going to show you just to show that how can you test it? If, if you know uh, Python scripting and if you have if you have knowledge of Selenium, then you can definitely test your service portal. So let's take a look. Now, this is Python IDE where I can write Python scripts and I can run them. Now, what exactly we are going to do? We are going to write a Python script, which will call Selenium web driver and do the testing for our service portal. And we are going to test the login of the portal. So in order to do that, I will go to my project. I will create a new Python file. I will give it a name like test service portal click OK. I'm going to start with importing the time module of Python. So I'm writing port time. Then I will import Selenium web driver. So I will press tab from import web driver and you will keep on. So it is auto populating all the libraries. Everything you have, it will auto auto populate those things. So you have from Selenium import web driver and then I have from Selenium dot web driver dot because we need to uh, call the Chrome web driver as well. So I will put this and this time web driver. I go a little bit bottom. And now I will create a variable driver. And then I will call the Chrome web driver. So this is what I'm going to do. And now I am going to get the URL which I'm going to test. And that would be driver.get. And I will put the URL. So if I go to my portal, so this is the URL we need to test. I will go here and paste it. Then what I will do, so this will open up the page. Now while opening the page, you as you can see, you can't put the username and the password right away. So you have to wait for some time. So let's do that. And that's the reason we imported the time module. So what I will do, I will do time dot. We will go for sleep and this will be like some seconds. So let's go for uh, 20 seconds or maybe 10 seconds for now. We will see if we will get some failures. And this time I will do. Uh, so as of now, this will first load the page. Now I need to put username and the password and also I need to click on that login button for that. Let's go back to our portal. So this is our portal. What we need to do. We need to get the element of this page so that I can put the username and the password in that element and click this button for that. You need to open the browsers. That means Chrome browser developer tool. 
So you can go here setting then you have more tools and then you can go to developer tools. I click here This will be opened. So this is the developer tool now I want element of this particular page so I will click this particular button it says select an element in the page to inspect it I will click here and now if I put my mouse over this you will automatically see at the bottom that this is showing that particular uh, element so as of now I'm a username and you can see it says the name of this particular uh, field is username that's what it is showing so I will go back to my Python scripting and I will just create a variable new name and I will do driver dot get find element because we need to find it wherever that ID would be there I need to find with that name so I can find with multiple way I can find it ID uh, element but this time I'm just using by name I'm selecting by name and here I will put username this is what we have here yep we have username now what I'm going to do I'm going to put you name dot send keys so this is all about selenium libraries we have because I am just clicking the button I am putting the record that's what you can do with the help of selenium library we have so I have send keys I press tab so I will send the key now what data I need to put I will put here able dot tutor this is the user I will put and then I will put the password so I will create another variable for password and that will be driver dot get element I'm keep on putting get it should be find element by name and this time let's check the name of password so the password name is password so I will put password here and then I am putting you pass dot send keys and I will put the password so password would be test This is a random password I created. Test at one, two, three. I will just change it after this demo. So you'll not find it anymore. So, so as of now, it has put in the username and the password. Now we have to click that login button. How can we do that? We can do it by checking. So we have this name as login. That's what we have. So what exactly we will do we will do you button dot find so first I will create it first I will do driver dot find element by name and that is so the name is login so I have put in the login and then I have you button dot click now this is different from send keys send keys is something which is putting the values but here I need to click it so I will just press tab it will click the button and if you want to wait you can also wait again so in this case I will put time dot sleep and just put five seconds so I'm done with all the scripting uh, let's run this program so I'm clicking on run test service portal so this is running now I'm not touching this mouse and you can see it has opened uh, the Chrome and you can see that message at the top which says Chrome is being controlled by automated test software so I'm not touching anything it is doing automatically so now you can see it has uh, get the URL and now it is loading the page when the once the page is loaded it will try to put the username and the password we selected so it will wait for 20 seconds 
now you can see that it has automatically put in the username and the password and login was successful we didn't touch anything so i did not touch anything it is still being controlled by uh, this particular software that is by selenium so i'm not touching anything this is running with the help of selenium web driver so guys this is just a glimpse of how exactly you can do automation testing with uh, python and selenium and you can do your testing of your ServiceNow portal. That's what you can do. You can also test a core platform, but ServiceNow has already given ATF. But if your portal is really customized and you're not able to find the right solution, then you can also test it with the help of this. But for this particular testing, for this automation testing, you have to know Python scripting and you have to install it in your system in order to do that. So I hope you liked my video, just a glimpse of automation testing. So thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.